Hi right, guys, and today we are going to look at something different, but uh, Modelo related. And this is the centenary stuff. Uh, this is the vehicles at home being announced, uh, which in the centenary range was the 1950 stuff, if I've got that correct. And these are Duplo die cast. Um, so yeah, it's a big throwback. Uh, and the two vehicles in front of me are an Austin freeway van, um, which is R7243. And we have the MGTC, uh, which is R7241. And these are really small. I um, don't know if you can tell how zoomed in they am. Um, yeah, when I said these are part of the tuning range, and when they got announced, um, there was one particular one I was after, and that was the Margate one. Uh, but anyway, we'll get into the video and see what they're all about. As you start off at this, um, on the boxes, as you can tell, it tells you um, the code and what should be inside the box. It also tells you the, um, the vehicle itself, which is MG, uh, TC and an Austin Freeway van. Um, it also got Duble uh, die cast, uh, it's a nice throwback to the 50s. I believe these centenary boxes are, are really nice. Uh, at the end of the boxes, it also told you the um, product code and the model again as well. As we move on to the front of the vehicles, I thought I'd do them both together. Uh, we both have legible reading uh, number plates. So also, the whole things are both made out of metal, which is a good thing. We also have the lovely tampo printed, I believe, or could be hand painted um, models here. The grills are um, pr uh, painted or tampo printed as well. I have filled them. Headlights don't work, but it's only a model, and for fourteen pound each, you can't really grumble. Um, it's really highly detailed. As we move on to the side of the vehicles, again, it's printed. We have um, door handles, which you can see. The Margate van or the Austin uh, van. That livery, that painting is highly detailed. I'm not too sure where it is. I used to go to uh, Mar uh, Margate and Westgate as a kid. Um, still not sure where that is, uh, but it's very highly detailed printed. The tyres are separately um, there too. The wheels do go round. And it does have some um, details. As we move on to the back of the vehicles, uh, the van is pretty plain, but it is correct. I must say, there's a few picked out details, number plate, door handles, you can even see some inches as well. Even though they are white, you can see them as well. As for the MG, we have a separately applied uh, wheel, spare wheel, on the boot. I'm not sure if the boot opens, I wouldn't expect it to. You can also see the um, hood when it goes up when it's raining. Um, it's very nice there. By Hornby, a lot of detail going into them, a lot of thought. And finally, onto the underneath of the vehicles. Uh, there's not much on the MG, but there's a few um, molded piping at the bottom of the exhaust and stuff. Uh, the van has a lot more detail to itself, um, a lot more picked out stuff. You can see the screws, and also like two holes where it should go in a plimp um, if you wanted to. Uh, but the van is highly detailed, must must say. Hi guys, that's the end of the video. I'll just give you my opinion on him and uh, let you know what I think of him. I think Humby done a really nice job on um, the Centenary range. Uh, these vehicles are really nice. Um, so, so nice, in fact, I may order some more at some point. Uh, different ones, obviously. Uh, the boxes are pretty cute as well. Um, bit of an odd word there for me, but they're pretty, pretty cute. Pretty small, very small, in fact, very light. So, you know, they're full of metal, apart from the tyres that are rubber. Um, would I recommend one? Yeah, I think I would. Uh, to anyone who's got one, you can use them as um, an layout, you can use them as a car show, a museum piece, whatever. They will appear to them people, appear to collectors, uh, anyone who's collecting the centenary stuff, or anyone who's a collector of throwback stuff. Um, they may even uh, appeal to kids at such a cheap price. I think they're like, the car was £11 and the van was Fourteen pad, uh, which is pretty good. Um, personally, for me, it's the Margate one. Personal reasons. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.